Hello, in this video I want to show you how to easily and quickly move your WordPress site to a new location and this can uh, come handy when you are about to move your site to a new hosting or you want to create a testing site so you can see how the changes will look like on your site before you actually uh, make them live on your uh, main web website. So here I am, that's my site, annalanga.com and to do that I will need to have a plugin so let's go to dashboard plugins and we will be using a cool plugin called duplicator so I need to add it it's a free plugin so we can upload we can install it from the dashboard Uh, let's just go here into the search box, type duplicator and hit enter and in a few seconds we should see the screen where the results there we go and the duplicator is the one by life in the grid so we can install it from here, click OK and wait a few seconds for the installation to proceed and now on this screen we need to activate a plugin so let's hit that link and now we have duplicator installed on our site and when we scroll down you will, we will see that on the um, navigation here on the left so let's click on that and from that screen we will be able to back up our site and create a package we will be using to move our site to the new location okay on that screen we will see absolutely nothing because we haven't created any packages so we need to go to that tab create a new let's click on that and that will take us to this screen where we can start creating our backup Okay, and on that screen we can uh, put a new um, we can put a name for our uh, backup. You can leave it as it is because it's actually putting a date here and the website name. You can add some net and notes as well, and then hit next. And then duplicator uh, will start scanning our site to make a list of all the files and folders, everything that comes as our site on that screen we will see the results of this scan and it says um, we are good to go and now we can start uh, we can hit the build button that might take some time depending on the size of your website and um, if you will get any warnings here it might be caused by the total size of your um, total size of your site. Um, uh, if that's not more than the 300 megabytes, don't worry about it. You can still build the package. And now Duplicator is building a package for us, and it might take several minutes again, depending on the size of your website. So you need to wait a little bit. Once the package is completed, um, you will see this screen. And now we need to uh, download both of these files, installer and archive. So just click on both, and they will be automatically saved in your downloads folder. Again, uh, downloading those files might take some time, depending on the size. So just be patient and wait for the download to finish. Once we have our package downloaded, we can fire up FileZilla. So let's go and open FileZilla. Then we need to go to File si Site Manager and you need to connect to your um, server where you want to upload the files. So I have that already set up here. I just need to click on Connect. and wait for the connection to set up then we need to look for the public uh, underscore html files or depending how your server is set up 
the folder where your um, website file will, files will reside. So in my case it's here, so I need to click on that folder, wait for it to open. And now in this folder I want to create a subfolder where my new website will reside. So um, in that case I want it to be annalanga.com slash new. So I need to create that folder here. So let me right click and choose create directory and put a name and now we need to enter that directory and from your downloads on the left you need to look for the um, package and just go back here quickly and it's starting with the date so let's have a look where we got it I need to refresh that side, so I need to click on the different uh, folder and it just come back to download. And there we go, that's the one. And now I need to drag it to this a new directory. And then another file I will need is the installer PHP. So I need to look for it, and that's the one with the uh, six. So I need to drag it here as well. That's going to take some time, so again, you can just uh, wait for for the upload to finish. And in the meantime, we're going to create a database. To create your database, you need to go to your cPanel, your hosting cPanel. This is mine for Namecheap, and depending on your hosting environment, it might look slightly different, but a majority will have the same um, functions and icons here. I now we need to look for the icon uh, for the databases and here we have MySQL database wizard so I need to click on that and this is something that will allow me to create a database I just need to log in because uh, the system logged me out in the meantime so There we go. Now I'm on the screen where I can create a new database. So I'm going to put it new and then click next step. And now I need to add a database user and create a password for it. This is very important because you need to know uh, these um, credentials to move your site so make sure you remember them or write them down somewhere so you don't lose them okay and create a new user then you need to assign privileges to your new user we need to assign all so just take this one and click next okay so that's all the new uh, new database with that name and uh, um, user was created for us so now we can just check how our uploading is proceeding so let's go to filezilla oh, we still have a few more percent to go so let's go back to the uh, browser to start the moving process we need to go to the domain name slash new of course that will depend on the directory you just created and then we need to put a type installer dot php whoops make sure it's installer there we go and uh, in my case I need to go back to my filezilla and rename that because it needs to have just install it in the name. There we go. Now I can go back and hit enter. And there we go. That's the duplicate on installer screen. Now what we wanted to do is uh, tick here, connect and remove all data. So let's tick that. Then you need to put a host here. Normally it's local host, but sometimes depending on your uh, hosting, it, like for for example with GoDaddy it's slightly different so you will need to double check with um, with your hosting in most cases lo a local host will, will will work just 
fine and now we need to put our database name so let's just copy that and paste here same word user and then type your password and test connection okay we have succeed so that means it's working if you will have a fail here you, you need to make sure with your hosting if the host is local or something different because that that could that that will be the main reason why it's not working then next we need to click tick uh, this uh, permission here and then click on run deployment it's gonna ask us to double check if we really, really want to do it yes we do so click OK and now it's gonna take a few minutes to um, set up everything so let's wait uh, now we got this screen um, that will just ha um, ask us uh, to adjust any settings we want to change but um, normally it's just as it, as it should be so you can just click run update and again wait a few seconds and you will see that screen if there is no errors and warnings that means everything went smoothly and we can test our site by clicking that button and there we go our old site and the new um, home online is waiting for us you can just double check if everything is there yes it looks perfectly as the old website so just a few more things we need to f uh, clean the installer files so we need to ta uh, click on that and that will take us to our um, new site backend and you will need to log in here to clean and we're logging in now and there we go the uh, file has been removed for us and you can, again you can have a look inside and check if everything is working as it should be but I'm sure it would and um, now you have a brand new copy of your old website that you can play around with it or you have just moved your existing site to the new hosting environment